Shorty, it's time for the whole nation to wake up before we all turn to jellyfish. Here, look at that. Does that give you any ideas? Boy, I'll say. I better get my eyes examined. Now, wait a minute. You're not going to take this lying down, are you? Gee, can I? Look at your bundle of flab, a tub of lard, all fat and no muscle. Well, nobody's perfect. What I could do for you with my knowledge of physical training. I'm going to put three inches of muscle on those arms. I'm going to turn those legs into steel coils. I'm going to make that paunchy stomach as flat as a washboard. I'm going to... You're going to make me sick. By the power vested in me by this newspaper article, I hereby order you to report for your physical training program first thing tomorrow morning. in a physical fitness program that you eat a good nourishing breakfast to give you plenty of fuel for the day ahead. Right? Right. Ouch! What's the idea? When you're overweight, it's more important to cut down on fattening foods. Here. It looks delicious. Could I have the hole in that donut when you're through with it? Too many calories. Whoops! Meal time is over. It's time for the first exercise period. Don't you mean for the first exercise period? Here, carry these down to the gym. Well, what are they? Indian clubs. Why don't we uh, just give them back to the Indians? We'll start with calisthenics to loosen you up. Count of one, hands on hips. Two, bend over, touch toes. Three, raise feet to dangle from floor. Four, return to the original position. Shorty! Uh, I just remembered an appointment I had with a hammock. Listen, pal, I'm only doing this for your own good. Do you want to go on being a tub of lard, or do you want to be physically fit? You mean I have a choice? Shorty, how would you feel if four score and seven years ago our foundling fathers had stood on that bridge heard around the world and fired before they saw the whites of their eyes? What would our great nation be like if John Paul Jones hadn't told it to the Marines instead of don't give up the ship? Back to you, boy. Every man, every Jack and Yankee doodle who calls himself the spirit of 76 owes it to Betsy Ross and Barbara Fritchie to get in there and pitch and get down on his hands and knees and sing old Columbia, the gem of the ocean. Your Uncle Sam himself said of that old San Juan Hill, speak softly, but carry that message to Garcia. Now start bouncing, Shorty, and I'll toss you the Indian clubs. Hey, like this, Swifty? That's great, Shorty. Now catch these clubs. <laughs> Watch out! Take it easy, will you? That's great, Shorty. You just did a double loop twist. <laughs> wow, a giant reverse spread. You're terrific. Kid. I'm getting seasick. I want to get down. Don't give up now, Shorty. A quitter never wins, and a winner never quits. Okay. Throw me the rest of them in, Ian Clap. That's the spirit, boy. Yeah. Another. And another. And the rest. Now, this is called the Flying Dive Bomber. And you're the target. Now, now, wait a minute, Shorty. Don't give up the ship. Fire! One! Oh! Control yourself, Shorty! Control yourself! Don't shoot till you see the whites of their eyes! Fire! Two! Oh! You put me in the driver's seat! Remember the main! Fire! Three! Cease firing! I quit! I surrender! I'll do anything you say! Anything? Anything! This is 
is going too far, Shorty. Keep walking, Swifty. I could get arrested for treason for this. In a democracy, everybody has a right to be hate, Swifty. Even a fat man. <laughs> <laughs> 